G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be looking at in today's video is just basic short division, okay? How we go about doing this. There's no little tricks with this, it's just pretty much straightforward what you do. So pretend you've got the question here. Uh, I, get, I ask you, what is 108 divided by 3? Ooh, that's a bit of a nasty question. Well, first off, generally what we do is we write these a little bit differently when we start to get bigger numbers. And we do this. We write 108 in here. The thing that's been divided up, we put inside this little half box and we put the thing we're dividing it by over here. And we start divide, We start on this end and we start dividing the numbers into each number as we go. So what's 1 divided by 3? Well, 1's bigger than 3, you can't do this. So what we do is we put a 0 there and we can carry the 1 from the 10 across. What is 10 divided by 3? Well, 10 divided by 3 is 3 because 3 times 3 equals 9. Alright, how much left over from 10? If you take 9 away, how much is left over from 10? Well, the answer is 1. So we move this 1 across to the next part of the question. And this leaves us now, you read this as 18. 18 divided by 3, the answer is 6. So our answer is 36. I'll give you another one of these. Alright, what about this one here? We will do, um, we'll do 612 divided by 6. What does that equal? Okay, so again, we make this thing here, and we put the 612 in here, we put the 6 here, and we start dividing with this number here. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 divided by 6, well, 1 divided by 6 you can't do because 1's smaller than 6. So you get this 1 and you carry it across to the next number, and you put a 0 up here. The show it can't be done. Okay, and this is a really important thing to get. A lot of people don't put the zero in here uh, and get the wrong answer, therefore. Okay, but because you can't do it, it doesn't mean you just straight away carry the number across. You have to put the zero up there. And then this number now I read, we read as 12. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, one more. All right, where are we? Okay, what about this one here? We'll go 545 and we'll divide that by 5. Again, we put inside this box here 545 divided by 5. Let's start working at this division. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 4 divided by 5, we can't do, so we have to put the 0 up there and we carry this 4 across. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Alright, I'll tell you what, I'll put a bunch of these up, uh, I'll put them up in this type of format, and I'll get you to solve them. See how you go. Okay, so here's some questions here. See how you go with them. I'm going to come back in, in count of 5, you might want to pause me, and uh, I'll come back and go through the answers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. All right, here's the first answer here. Uh, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So 231 is our answer. I hope you did well on that. The next one, 1 divided by 4, we can't do, so I carry the 1 across. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 1 divided by 4, we can't do. So I put the 0 up there and I carry the 1 across. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So the answer is 304. I hope you're doing really, really well so far. 4 divided by 5, we can't do, so we carry the 4 across. We can't put the 0 up there as well. 48 divided by 5, well, 9 fives are 45, and we need, there's 3 left over, so I put the 3 there. And then 35 divided by 5, is 7. So, our answer is 7. 
Last of all, eight divided by six is one. There's two left over, so I carry it. Next, what we have is 21 divided by six. Three sixes are 18, so there's a three. And 18, 19, 20, there's three left over. In 36, there's six sixes. So our answer is 136. How'd you go with those? I hope you did really, really well. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, send me a message. Okay, see you next time.